Hi guys! Today I want to talk about the books I read in German high school because I thought that would be interesting. I don't know. I read books in German class and English class. I had both uh, English and German as mandatory subjects throughout the entirety of high school. So we did have some literature that we had to consume. <laughs> I don't think at the time I was particularly keen on doing that, but you know, you don't have a choice, really. I'm gonna start with the German ones. There are more of them, I think. But, yeah. I don't have all of them at my disposal. I think I got rid of some. I also can't find some of them. We just have to live with the ones we could, we could get. These are not in order, by the way, because I can't remember when I read which book. I barely could remember which books I'd read, or was supposed to have read, if that's an English sentence, because we just did not care about our required reading, so I took some notes on them and googled them and looked up the Wikipedia page because I don't know a lot about these books. The first one is Not an Advisor by Gotthold Ephraim Lessing. I read this in year 11. I only remember a story in the story, essentially, and I remember reading that during the exam for the first time. I thought like did quite okay on the exam but really don't take anything that I'm saying in this video as advice on how to deal with your required readings or on how to treat school because I didn't do good. I, I was really lazy, I was just lucky that I still managed to do everything kind of okay but really don't take me as an example. Probably do the opposite of what I'm telling you about. This is a cautionary tale if anything. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So don't think I read the entirety of the- I may have actually. They're mixing together in my mind. I'm also- I read books in middle school as well, so I really don't know which book was which because it's been so long. Because this doesn't end badly, I was okay because I just don't like the ones like Romeo and Juliet or something like that, the typical thing you read in school. I would have been mad about because I don't like books that end bad badly because they always b end badly for stupid reasons like miscommunication and I can't relate to that so it makes me mad. I also think this is not set in Europe. I don't know where it's set but I don't think it was Europe. I remember it as quite a positive book. I can't tell you what it's about really. I think there was a problem at some point and it got solved through a story and I mean Nathan device means Nathan the wise so I guess Nathan was wise and he told people some things. But I don't remember. I mean, I would give this just because I remember it being nice, like a 3.5 or a 4 out of 5 stars. But also the fact that I don't remember anything. Well, I mean, it's been literally like 5 years since I read this, so what do I know? This was written in 1779. We read some old stuff in German class. The next one is also one that I actually have. Um, at my disposal, I found this somewhere. Antione by Sophocles. It belongs to the, I think, very well-known uh, Oedipus saga. I don't know how to pronounce his name in English, so I'm just not gonna try. But, I mean, it's short. <laughs> I'll give it that. I think it ends badly. The message of the book essentially is that um, listening to worldly leaders is bad. I mean, that's the old, like the surface level message. I don't think I was very, very good at analyzing books at the time. I'm still not now, but I was worse at the time that I read this, so I'm just gonna say um, that I probably misunderstood quite a lot of it, but I would say that the message of it was that you shouldn't listen to worldly leaders um, because they're like faulty or whatever, um, and instead you li should listen to your gods and what they say and like your religion is more important. At least that's what the people in this book live by and it seems to be like sort of heroic. <laughs> Again, it's a tragedy. Um, people die as they do in these things. Um, there's a choir, so that's fun. Oh, I marked stuff, so that's fun. But I just marked single words. What was the strategy here? I don't know. Oh, that's not even the, the main book. Oh, that was the, the text, because apparently only this is the actual book, and then this is just attachments for, you know, reading it in class or something. So yeah, it's really short. Um, so that was really good. And there's like this Greek choir thing going on that I think is quite nice. You know, 
explains the movie, supposedly, I guess. But it's really complicated to read. I don't know what it's saying. Like, I'm reading it and I'm, I, there's, I just, I don't, I don't know what this means. So, yeah, not that easy to read, but I got through it. I remember finishing it. So, that's good. I'm um, gonna give it like a, like maybe three stars because I was able to finish it and it's short. At least I got the message. Sometimes you read books and you don't even know what they're talking about. So I'm gonna take that as a win. Oh, also, that's the fun fact about this book. It was written around 442 BC. So it's no bad book. I don't even know how they, they were like, oh, we found this thing. Let's publish it like 2,500 years later. I don't know how that happened, but I mean, that's fun. Both of these are plays which I think like your teachers that have to teach you literature just love to do to you to give you plays. I mean, I don't, I don't dislike them. I think sometimes it might be easier to read them, but still, it's just a, a pattern I noticed. Because the next one is also a play and that's Faust by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. It was written in 1808 because we love all those books in German class. I remember it being about this thick. I don't find, I can't find it. I'm pretty sure I didn't give it away, but I don't know where it is either. I know that I didn't read as much of it as I should have, let's say that, but we did watch plays of it, so, and they were true to the written form, so I don't think I missed out on that much. And in Germany, I think most people know vaguely what it's about, <laughs> so I think I'm fine. Um, Again, don't take me as an example on how to treat your your school stuff, because I'm irresponsible. I don't know if it ends badly. Um, I just know that there were two parts in this big-ass book, and I think the first part was really comparatively short to the, as opposed to the second part, so that was good. Still didn't finish it. I read about 20 pages. Um, I don't remember that much. Just that there's a few sentences that got into sort of German normal language like there's some sayings or idioms or something like that in the book and I read them and I was like oh my god they're from this book like this book originates the saying that I've been knowing for my entire life or something along those lines so that's really cool um and interesting to know and see where these things came from and the fact that they lived in the German language for like 200 years so that's what I enjoyed the rest of it was I think complicated and boring, <laughs> but I wasn't into reading at the time either, and I didn't have the patience to deal with complicated reading, so I just didn't. These last two I think I read in my last year, and both of them were um, potential readings for my finals. So these two were Der Reigen by Arthur Schnitzler. Um, it was just quite a scandalous book because it's essentially just peop people have it like the first person has sex with one person and then that person has sex with another person and then in the next chapter that person has sex with so it's quite a provocative book as you probably tell um i think it's supposed to explore society at the time and i think it's set in vienna if i'm not sure i don't think they were particularly clear on wikipedia about this but i think it was 1900 or 1903. now i don't know if i finished it but it wasn't super thick i think it was about this thick so i might have finished it wasn't my jam. I don't think you were supposed to like the people, I think it was supposed to explore their behavior and stuff, but I like to like the people I read about, so I don't think it was super enjoyable. Um, I really don't know why I'm even trying to rate these books, because clearly I didn't, I don't remember enough about them to even properly judge them, but maybe like a 2.5 for societal impact, <laughs> I really don't know. I think it was forbidden at certain points. And Faust, I think I would give, like, for, like, how iconic it is and how much of this impact is, like, German language, maybe, like, three? With a lot of question marks. And then last one I could remember, maybe I read more, but I really don't know, was Im Krebsgang by Günther Gass. It was written in 2002. So actually in this century, which is surprising, it's about, I think, Second World War and the ramifications of it and the ramifications for, you know, families and all of that. I don't think I liked any of the characters. 
I don't think you're supposed to like them either in this book, but I really didn't like them. And um, it was obviously a lot of like past, the of the past, and I think also being a refugee um, at the time. I don't know what I learned from it, to be to be honest. Well, I think the topic is super important, and I think it's important that we, you know, talk about it in, in literature. I remember being being somewhat conflicted about like what to think because I think also the way the characters dealt with the past wasn't good in my eyes and I don't think you're supposed to like take that as an example so <laughs> I really don't know like I don't want to e even read this book because I think it probably was important to be written but I also don't remember much of the discussion in class. I can't say anything about the writing style or anything like that. It was probably more accessible and less complicated than a lot of these other, other books, just because it's not as old and the language hasn't changed as much since it was written, obviously. At the time, I still wanted to like probably enjoy the characters and not just the story. I think that made it difficult for me to read. Which is not to say that it's not an important thing to read, but just that I, it was difficult for me. <laughs> So those were the books I read in German class in high school. I'm gonna leave it at that for now and I'm gonna return with a video eventually. Don't know if it's gonna be next week, but soonish I'm gonna talk about the books I read for English class in high school. And yeah, see you guys soon. Bye!